everyone, it's Wang, aka Diva Makeup Queen, and welcome to the channel of happiness and good vibes. And thank you so much for subscribing and watching. And today we are bringing you, yep, summer collection from Wet and Wild. This is a limited edition, and it, it is available right now at Rite Aid, Walgreens, and also CVS. So. Okay, are you ready for this? They come out with three bronzers and a whole bunch of nail polish, which I just tried to swatch for you. Mm. It's all about bright colors this year, isn't it? Look at my bright pink. You like it? Bright, bright, bright. So let me go ahead and show you the nail polishes first. This one's called Contact High, and it's this color right here. This one is called Love Me Some Muscles, and it's this beautiful peachy color right here. of Venice Day. Bright yellow color right here. The color pretty much reflects how it looks like. A coast to coast. Best of a generation it is this one right here, my thumb. And last one is Tripping on the Broadway. Tripping. Tripping on the Broadway. This color right here. Obviously these colors are gorgeous and bright and screen summer and tons of fun. Um, I do wish that is a little bit more pigmented. There are two colors that stand out to me as having a little bit more pigmentation and less sheer. So best of a generation and love me some muscles. These two go on a little bit more opaque, which I like better. And I'm really happy that this is opaque because um, this is, as you see, clearly my favorite color at the moment. Totally bright pink. Um, this is a great color. I really do love it very much. So this um, comes with a brush that is flat, like that, and wide, flat and wide, just so that you get an idea what you're getting right here. It looks like that. So I showed these on Instagram and people went nuts. All my friends asked me to swatch them. So I was like, of course I'm going to swatch them all for you. And so let's start one by one. This one right here is called Hold Me Close. And it's a very light bronze. Maybe it could be a highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... I'm going to come close to you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to swatch it. The This part. Oh, this is clearly a highlighter. Look at this. Yeah. That's a highlighter. Very natural looking. So yeah, I'm going to swatch this part for you. And then I'm going to swatch the pink part for you. Which is pink. And then I will swatch all around for you. And see what that looks like. Which is probably more realistic. Oh my god, I don't want to mess it up. Look, it's pretty. Oh, this is like... um and use it like a blush almost. That's pretty. Yep, it really is. This one's called Dusk Till Dawn. Once again, I will swatch this part for you. It's pretty like natural looking actually, to my surprise. And now I swatch the pink part. Nice. And now I'm going to swirl around and see how that looks like. Beautiful bronzy color comes out of it. Let's see, I'll use it right here. Oh, that's really pretty. It becomes like a peach almost. Yeah. This one's called Everything Under the Sun. Oh, this one is the deepest color, I think. Again, I'll swatch right here. This is a straight up bronzer. Do this one right here for you. Beautiful. Again, kind of peachy color. And now I swirl around. Are you guys ready for this? Wow, that's pretty. So it's a mix of those two. So as far as I can see, these um, don't have any shimmers in them. And it's like a satin finish, but almost matte. Just a slight sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little demo and see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and use, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use everything under the sun and just use this part I'm using a real technique brush 
and I'm just going to contour and see how it works. So very pigmented as you can see. Very nice. So the pigmentation is awesome for this one. I'm gonna now use dust till dawn. I'm gonna use Sedona Lace 376 and I'm just gonna twirl around, I guess, and use that as an all over and see how that does. I already have a ton of brush, or rather blush, so this might look crazy and I don't have a mirror. So please don't mind if I look crazy, I'll blend out later. What do you guys think? And I'm gonna concentrate on the peachy part now and apply as a blush. I'm going to use um, Beach Cosmetics Stippling Brush. This is in the color Homey Close, and I'm going to use this color as a highlight and see how it does. See if you guys can see it. I'm going to apply it to one side. Can you see anything? Can't really tell. This one I feel like is the least pigmented. But then again, I'm curious to see how it looks like actually on the face as a highlight. What do you see, guys? I'm going to put it right in the middle. Very, very subtle. Maybe almost too subtle. So my first impression is that the most pigmented out of all three is definitely this one. Everything under the sun, in terms of the bronziness, it is also the deepest color out of all three. Homey Close definitely is the least pigmented. I don't know if it's showing up on camera in terms of the highlighting, but it's very, very subtle. And Dust Till Dawn is a nice wash of color all over, and it's natural looking, very natural. So pretty much it. It's a... Uh, I mean, it's so affordable, you might as well just get one to see how it goes. So I hope this is helpful and you like my swatches. Don't forget to like this video if you did find it helpful. And of course, subscribe right here, Diva Makeup Queen, for more swatches and fun. And I'm on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Pinterest, all of that stuff. So I'll see you really soon, okay? Bye!